Okay, the first step in building this is to make a center line and you measure 17 millimeters in from the relief cuts. It's also 17 millimeters in from the sides of this. That's where your center line's at. Once you've got your center line, connect the corner back here at the elevon and at the relief cut with a pen and roll over it several times getting deeper and deeper so that this will be a crease line. Do that on both sides. Um, once you've got those done, make a mark at an inch and three quarters from the tip, from the nose of the airplane, and at three and a half inches. These marks will be the crease line for the Phillips entry on the bottom of the airfoil and the spar placement. The final mark that we make is a quarter inch from the leading edge at the wing tip. Once those are done, that's how we connect the marks. Make a light mark for the spar placement, a heavy mark for the crease for the Phillips entry. Um, where we made the ballpoint pen marks, you drag them in kind of deep. As you can see, it makes a really easy way to fold these creases like this. So we've got a fold right here and a fold for our dihedral on both sides. Okay. okay. So to bevel the surfaces, I turn my metal ruler upside down. Make sure you press down fairly hard on it and just, you know, give the blade your best guess on a 45 degree angle. Don't be afraid to stroke it several times. And there's the beveled surfaces. Do that on all of your Elevon parts and on the outsides of your rudder part. Same thing here. Just line up my metal ruler. Okay, so we attach the rudder with a piece of hinge tape, remove the backing, throw some CA on the part. Sorry if you can see that. That's basically. Line it up, lay it down. I just line it up on these two corners. Everything else fits if you do that. Now, you use your fingers as a guide to make sure that everything's, that this is sliding in properly. This is going to be all right. And all you have to do, get that lined up and slide the fuselage down into place on the hinge tape and press it tight. Now we've got a hinged rudder two fuselage sides ready to install. The next step is to attach the fuselage taper former. So I hold it in place, make sure it's centered. I'm just doing this by eyeball, but you can measure if you want. And I'm just going to put a mark on the center line where I know it's aligned for quick centering once I get the glue on. point I should be able to go ahead and set this right on the mark. Set this piece right in the middle. Fuselage corners on. Now we're going to apply the two bulkheads. place with CA. Okay, I've made a mark 
at three and a half inch, the same location as the spar location, and then another mark two millimeters, the thickness of the spar in front of it. That's where the spar is going to go on the fuselage. That's what we'll use for alignment when we attach it to the bottom sheet. Okay, the next step is to install or apply the root wing formers, airfoil formers. They're going to go on like this and they're going to go on the alignment marks that we just made leaving room for that spar right in the middle of it. So we have the marks, just glue them on flush and you're good to go. Okay, I've glued on the front wing root former and I've got the back one ready to go. I'm just going to use a scrap of Depron to place in between there to make sure my gap is right. Snug it up to there. It's all good in the back. Just like that. Okay, so now the next part, now that we have our wing root formers into place on the fuselage sides, our rudder is hinged on, attaching those two together. We have our fuselage taper former and the two main bulkheads in place, and our creases are all made. We have one, two, three, four creases. Now, what we do is just glue the flat part, actually just from the spar, um, back to here is good enough. So I'm just going to put some more of this Bob Smith's Medium CA. I'm going to bead right back to the hinge line. That's it. And right up to the bulkhead. And we're going to pull this apart and slide it into position and get the rear former right on the spar line. Make sure everything's pressed in. The medium CA gives you enough time to adjust a little bit. Now that's set. 